What is up Dubcon members, it's your boy Johnny and today what I've got for you is my top 5 favourite weapon combos that you can use whether that be in pubs, in ranked or in arenas. Now these weapon combos have not only allowed me to get more wins in arenas and go through the placement ranks with ease but they've also helped me plan ahead and have allowed me to budget and also choose wisely when selecting the appropriate weapon combo. So today I'm going to be covering absolutely everything, that way you will be able to give these weapon combos a go for yourselves and improve your game straight away. But just before the video starts guys if you are brand new around here and you enjoy apex legend content such as this then be sure to subscribe don't forget to turn on that post notification bell that way you never miss out on another video like this we are super duper close to 4,000 subscribers and th that is just absolutely insane to me so any help towards that will be gratefully appreciated and with that being said guys let's get right into it Okay, so the first one is going to be the Vault and the PK. Obviously, the Vault, as you guys should know, is an insane weapon to choose from. It has more DBH than the R99, for example. It can be fired and maintained at longer ranges too, and it's all around an insane weapon. As for the PK, the PK does the job. With it being introduced, obviously, back in Season 9, I actually fell back in love with it, but you do have to make sure you are hitting your shots right with it. So if you aren't actually hitting your shots right, then I probably would recommend an EVA 8, just to give you that ability to spray and pray a lot more frequently compared to the PK. Number two is going to be the Hemlock and the R301. So the Hemlock is a very, very good weapon to choose from from the get-go when you are in the early rounds of arenas. Therefore, I would recommend you get this weapon out of the combo first before you spend your credits on getting the R301 and upgrading it. The burst weapons have actually been insane since the introduction of Season 10 and with also the Prowler being brought back into the game. This combo is more so for someone who's going to be on the Mirage party ship on Party Crusher and will pick off enemies from a distance thanks to his little to no recoil on burst weapons. And speaking of burst weapons, let's move on to number 3 which is the Prowler and the R99. The Prowler happily has made its reintroduction back into the Apex game and is now floor loot once again. And I don't know if it's because it's still early days of the season and as of recording we are still waiting for a patch note to be done, but the Prowler is absolutely insane. By far, this is probably going to be the best burst weapon compared to the Hemlock. It shoots 5 bullets per burst. The recoil control is insanely easy to handle. And with the extended mags attached as you will grade it in arenas, you have more chances of knocking enemies and farming so much more damage. And with the R99 as a secondary, you literally cannot go wrong with it. The R99 is always going to be an OG weapon and an insanely good weapon when up close and personal with enemies. So overall, this weapon combo is more so for the players who start off very conservative and then when they need to as a team they will push and knock weak enemies or they will strike fear into the enemies causing them to fall into team traps number four is going to be the wingman and the pk the wingman is probably one of my favorite single fire weapons to choose from and especially at the beginning of the game the only drawback to this is that you need to hit your shots right and this goes for the overall weapon combo to be honest so if you are just warming up or you haven't practiced hitting your shots then please just give this weapon combo a miss but if you do get the chance to try this weapon combo out and you do hit all your shots if not the majority of them then you will just see how much damage this weapon combo can give off to an enemy and the fifth and final one last but not least is going to be the l star and the eva 8 can't lie to you guys i had serious doubts about the l star but this is hands down one of my best energy ammo weapons to choose from out of the four the recoil is practically not there considering the purpose of this weapon which is to spray and pray and in arenas it isn't even that dear when it comes to credit wise but when you get further attachments added onto it as well it only just keeps getting better and better and the EVA 8, as mentioned earlier, is a good way to give you that ability to spray and pray. So this weapon combo is definitely going to be for someone who wants to get all up into people's grills. They want to get people sent back to the lobby as fast as they can. And they just want to go all in, all spray and pray, shoot up the walls. And with that being said, guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy this. Let me know what's your favorite weapon combo in the comment section down below. And also feel free to give these a go as well. And let me know what your thoughts are in the comments as well. While you're down there as well, feel free to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on post notifications guys we are pushing for four phases of subscribers getting really really close to it so any help towards be gratefully appreciated and yeah guys my name has been johnny you guys have been amazing and if no one's already told you have an amazing day take care and peace